Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from computergaga.com. This tutorial will look at applying animation to charts in PowerPoint. On screen at the moment I have a slide with a pie chart and the plan is to apply some animation not so that the chart comes in as one but so that we can bring in each category one by one so that whilst presenting I could demonstrate the percentage uh, of air as a means of transport and then by road and then by water and then by rail and the audience won't, won't know what's coming up which they would if I just threw the chart in as one I can have it come in step by step whilst I present I will look at a similar thing with uh, a column chart further on where as well as different categories we also have different series and the different ways that we can use animation uh, as a way of yeah, as an entrance for the for the chart and having it come in the way that we want the way we want to bring it across okay let's look at this pie chart to start with all we need to do is select that chart and then because i'm using powerpoint 2007 on my animations tab i have this drop down list of animations and from 2007 it is this easy you can see element i only have these three effects that I can use but they all offer me an option of buy category and not just the as one object which is the standard and we can see the preview now bringing it in step by step so with each click that's how they would be coming in and the same for wipe and so on now if I look at the column chart further down and do a similar thing with that I'll select the chart I then go to my animation drop down and we can see a lot more options now we have by series as well as by category so you can see here it's coming in France then the Spanish category then the US then China category will bring in 2002 then 2003 then 2004 and so on you can see the different ways that we can bring this across then we have uh, slightly more in depth by element in series and by element in category on top of that I'm going to select uh, by a category in this example to actually apply that animation. That will show a preview again. What I'm looking at doing here is I'm going to click on my custom animation button, which is what you would have to do in previous versions of PowerPoint if you're using 2003 or before. And it's also what you'd have to do if you want to use a different effect. Now it's all well and great having these you know, fade, wipe, and fly in, but maybe you don't want that. Maybe you want checkerboard. You know, so after applying that, we can see the number in order here. I'm clicking the little chevrons in my task pane over on the right to expand it. You can click on, right, sure that for a moment, select that and choose to change the animation type above. I might choose instead to have a checkerboard effect for each of them. After doing that, what you can then do is go for the little drop down arrow just on the end of the animation and choose effect options in your effect options dialog box for that effect in this case the checkerboard I have a chart animation tab and a drop down list where you can apply the same settings we saw previously so just to repeat in previous versions of PowerPoint this is the approach you'd have to take You'd apply the custom animation, you'd then go into that drop down list and into the uh, the chart options. In this version, if you want to use anything apart from them, kind of stand free animations, would have to do this as well. Uh, just a note you're not able to, to apply these different groupings of the chart in all types of animation. If you choose a type of animation, it will not let you do it, it just means that you're going to have, uh, either have to live without. Or choose something like fly in or checkerboard, something where you know that you do get them options. It does change depending on the type of chart you're using and depending on the type of effect you're using, you'll have different options sometimes none, sometimes loads, sometimes uh, somewhere in the middle. Now there's that, and back on by category, and uh, get it in, they go. And then there's animating charts in PowerPoint, lots of different settings. Uh, that is it in PowerPoint 2007. Please check out some of our other tutorials at computergoggle.com and our other videos on YouTube. 